Hey gang, AV here, and welcome to my review of the Think Geek exclusive Haya Toys Injustice 2 Batman figure with a unique paint, uh, paint detail on him. Uh, this is him in the packaging. I just recently picked him up at uh, New Jersey Collector's Con. Uh, very reasonably priced, so I couldn't pass him up. He has been opened previously, but everything was there. Nothing appeared to be broken, so price was right I had to bring him home here he is on the uh, the front of the box as you can see it's a window box so you can see the actual item itself as well as majority of his uh, accessories here it is from the side here it is from the back feel free to pause the video if you'd like to read that here he is from the side again here he is the top of the box there's the bottom of the box and that's it for the box. Let's get them out of the box. Like I said, the tape has been cut previously. The previous owner has had him out of the box. As have I. And first and foremost, we'll look at the card that's inside the box for the background. Um, this one is just, uh, just like the other Batman. It's a depiction of the Daily Planet globe. And it's in disarray. Put that back in the box. And we're gonna have a look at his accessories first and foremost. Um, appears to be some tape still. Oh no, I'm getting ahead of myself here. He comes in a two piece plastic tray. Just take the top part off. That'll, that'll give me access to the figure and his accessories. Um, and it appears as though the tape is still there over the batarangs. So let's remove the batarangs. Oh my, you see that? It looks as though they were put in the tray while the paint was still wet and the paint actually stuck to the tape. Oh wow. Huh. Was not expecting that. And it would appear as though the tape is, uh, the paint has come off and is now stuck to the tape itself. Wow, that's a surprise. Was not expecting that. Are they all that bad? Let's see. All right, let's take the tape off of there. Yep. Some residues sticking to the tape as I took the thing off. I've never encountered that before, I'll be honest. I'm not sure why it's doing that. Huh. Huh. Well, that's a first for me, gang. Alright, well, anyhow. This is his batarang. As you can see, some of the painted detail came off. Which is okay, I suppose. I mean, the red doesn't really go with this particular paint scheme of Batman. But still, that, that's kind of disappointing that it's stuck to the tape like that. I can't believe that. All right. I have inspected the figure himself, but I didn't look at the batarangs before. This is... Uh, I wasn't expecting that. Um, here is his uh, grapple gun. It appears to be the same as the uh, other Batmans that I reviewed previously. He comes with three different sets of hands. He has his regular grasping hands and as I demonstrated in the other video, this one has the index finger separated from the rest of the hand so you can wedge one of the batarangs in there so that he can hold it i'm sorry i did that off camera so he can hold the batarang in his hand like so it comes with uh a 
a loose, more relaxed left hand. And then he has two specific grasping hands, each with trigger fingers, left and right. Um, he comes with a base with the same generic pattern on it as all the other DC characters and they have these notches on the sides so that you can use these tabs that he comes with these I or H shaped tabs plug them into there and then attach all the other bases side by side to make a floor which I feel is a, a very nice touch and now let's have a look at the figure himself Uh, one thing I did notice about my particular figure, um, again, your mileage may vary, but uh, when they assembled my particular figure, it looks as though they put his um, cape on crooked. Uh, no other way to put it, really. So, like, I can drape that over his one shoulder, especially, um, but it is clearly off-center on my figure, which is a shame. Um, but it's not the end of the world. I did not notice it until I had him out of the package. I can actually use that to my advantage while posing him to make it look like the wind is blowing, to make a more dynamic pose or whatever, but you know, it is what it is. quality control on this particular one is obviously in question and I'm not sure how much of that has to do with the fact that I had purchased it second hand but we'll see anyhow let's have a look at his actual detail a little bit more of his detail shows up on this figure because he's not all black like the other one which is nice um, I grew up uh, in the early 80s and uh, all of my toys at the time were Batman with this paint scheme, both the Mego Batman as well as the Superpowers Batman. So, and you know, Neil Adams comic book art and uh, everything else. This is the Batman I, this is the paint scheme for the Batman I grew up with, so. I like the gray and blue. Uh, that's why I picked him up. Um, he has some nice detail. I mean, there is uh, some yellow accents to break up the uh, uh, the blue and the gray. Uh, he is still wearing his uh, his kryptonite uh, knuckles. Which don't show up quite as prominently on this one because of the blue gloves, but they're there. Um, he has the same rubber or soft rubbery plastic uh, thigh armor pieces. Utility belt. All right, very cool. Let's go over his articulation. There's a good range of motion on his neck. Can do a full 360 up there. Cloth cape, so it doesn't hinder anything. Um, his upper shoulder pads have a little bit of articulation themselves to enable him to actually do some of his articulation, such as that, so that they don't get in the way, and that's a nice touch. Um, there is nothing at the upper bicep. Um, his elbows bend 90 degrees and rotate like that. They don't do a full 90 degrees and they don't do a full nine, 360 either, but it's close enough. Uh, hands are on ball joints. And depending on how you have them posed, they can look a little out of place on his narrow wrists. That's just something to keep in mind. They pop off easy enough so that you can put the other hands back on. So that's that's pretty cool. 
he has an ab crunch right underneath his breastplate here which allows for a decent amount of articulation uh, he has articulation at his waist as well which helps him get even more articulation on his upper body his he can do the splits about this far because he is hindered even though they are rubbery plastic they do hinder his articulation at his hips um, he can do the can can about like that not much there um, he does have a rotation at the upper thigh he's double jointed knees which enable him to go back about that far and he has a ankle pivot as well as a hinge so he can get some decent range of motion at his ankles to enable him to stand on his own which is always good all right let's get him standing up so again i mean one or two flaws with this particular version of batman at least on my example um i don't think that the misplaced cape is a common problem for this Batman figure and uh, I don't know what's going on with the tape on the Batarangs that that's a little strange um, it is what it is I'm still happy to have the figure but anyway let's do some size comparisons uh, here he is next to a modern GI Joe as you can see, he fits right in with that scale. Here he is next to a vintage G.I. Joe. As you can see, he is slightly taller because Batman is 1 18th scale. He's four inches tall. Vintage G.I. Joes are three and three quarter inch. And that's about it, gang. I'm a, I'm a big fan of this line. This won't, won't be the only, I'll have other Injustice uh, figures for you to look at in the future. Um, I, uh, like I said, this particular figure has got flaws, but I don't think that those flaws are common for this particular figure or for this particular line. I think that this one just slipped through the cracks. I'm not sure what's going on with this one, but I, uh, I'm not willing to write off every example of this particular Batman yet. Uh, I don't think all the Think Geek ones have the same issues, but I could be wrong. Um, uh, maybe shop around a little bit, look out for them be mindful of the fact that things like this can happen with the batarangs and the uh and the cape being off center uh maybe take a good good look at the way his cape is situated on his back it should be up here so the fact that this one is down farther is an indication that it was misplaced so if you're at a convention be mindful of that look through the window box to see you know make sure you don't have the same problem before you buy it but anyway this has been av uh if you like this video check out my channel if you like what you see there then please subscribe and as always thanks for watching